Cleveland game was crazy, and here, Clay Thompson at the horn for a three-point halftime lead for Golden State Off over New Orleans. American Express <laughs> halftime report. I really do. I just want to punch him in the face. Why you don't like Mario J in Atlanta? I want to punch him in the face. Why you don't like Mario? I'm just telling you, I want to punch his ass in the face. I do. Why? Why? Relax, what what makes you upset? You asked me a question. I, gave you a question. <laughs> I, I, I'm asking, I, I didn't ask you to hey, punch him. You said, you, I said, why? Get it. When Chuck get like that, just leave him alone. No, I like that. <laughs> okay, all right. Man. That's nice play, face. That's already. playoff intensity. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Chuck, you all right, baby? I want to punch him. I do, man. Oh, you I'm sweating, man. Restrain hey, yourself, America, man. May 15th. Don't be punching just anybody. Going, remember that kid? Oh, we got to wait till the Western 15th. Conference Final, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Set that one up. Uh, American Express teammate. Man. Oh, I ain't messing with you today, Chuck. Yeah, you got four so Golden State over. Warriors on this sheet. What are your picks, man, from a, from a wild first half? Well, it's a Steph Curry effect. So it's really, you know, having Steph Curry in, you know, they're playing a lot better. I see you, Ernie. Uh, they're playing a lot better, the Pelicans, but the effect that he has is the fact that the guy can just come down and as I freeze it here, he's in shooting range. Because most guys' shooting range is not out here. Most guys' shooting range is somewhere in here. But with Steph Curry, because he can shoot the basketball from anywhere on the court and shoots it from there, so all of a sudden now you have to change your whole direction and there's no such thing as help defense anymore. Going in the game, y'all. Oh, going in the right. game. I'm going in the game. Hold on. The time I'll be just, a second. I'll right. be right second. Yeah, all right. Oh. I love Oracle. It's so loud in here. It's so great. But poor Drew Holiday, because he's sitting here and he's guarding a guy that's not even in the screen. Boy, we've watched New Orleans come down. You used to talk about Mike D'Antoni in seven seconds or less. This is Alvin Gentry in like three seconds or less. You know, when you have a competitive guys like Rondo and Anthony Davis on your team, you get blown out by 20 in the first game. You're going to make some adjustments. I think if it gets close, I think, it, you know, in their mindset, they can steal a game. But... I like the way that they're competing tonight because the first game, they just got blown out by 20. Drew Holiday's got 15, had 11 in the game in the opener. Anthony Davis in the first half has 14 and 9. Chuck, aside from wanting to punch Dream on, what you think? <laughs> it's a tough call when you play uh, these Warriors, man, because they're the best at going up and down the court. They have, as Clark Kellogg says, great spurt ability. Yeah, New Orleans can play like that, but the Warriors are the best at it. The only other team comparable to them is the Rockets. That's why when the Rockets play the Warriors, it's going to be a crazy, crazy <laughs> game. Because you're going to have to score 110 to 15 points, or you're not got, you don't have a chance. You don't have a chance against the Warriors or the Rockets. I mean, you have to score close to 120. I mean, I, I mean that's just how really good offensively, they're good defensively, but you got to score a minimum of 110 to beat them. New Orleans, the second highest scoring team in these playoffs at 112 a game.